Hello, my fellow hirelings of House Telvani. So, this was a video I was not expecting to be making, but here we are. Yesterday, Skyrim was hit with a 12 gigabyte update that added multiple Creation Club paid mods and completely reworked the mod page and Creation Club page and combined them all together. Now, I was completely fucking blindsided with this news because it's exam week for me right now and I've been rather busy studying and doing my magic exams for the University of uh, House Telvani, so this was not what I was expecting. I know every other Bethesda YouTuber is inserting their opinions on this and my thoughts aren't really that unique, but I wanted to give my two septums regardless. So, first I'll go over all the pros for this, because I don't really think there are that many, so here it goes. First of all, they have finally added, I believe, two Creation Club mods that have full voice acting, which is really good and something that should have happened MUCH sooner. Especially because all of the other Creation Club mods had that generic voice dialogue we all heard a thousand times before, and it was just really super embarrassing and plummeted the value of all the mods, like Ghosts of Tribunal and Saints and Seducers, at least in my opinion. And lastly, the only mod that I think actually has any value so far is the East Empire Company expansion, which is fully voice acted and supposedly implements new gameplay features. I haven't played it, but I might buy it if this video makes me a few spare bucks and maybe I'll make a video reviewing it, but that's neither here nor there. My only issue from the outside looking in with this mod is that it turns recently cleared dungeons into mines for the East Empire Company to harvest. That does sound fucking cool, but I worry that it could bug the game out or that the East Empire Company will never leave said dungeon, meaning I can't ever clear it out ever again if I so wish. And that's all of my pros from what I have seen so far, which really isn't good, so let's get into some cons and issues I have with this update. First of all, I do not like how Bethesda has roped the Creation Club alongside regular mods. Especially considering how the page is organized, it seems they are only promoting the paid mods and throwing everything else behind it in an effort to get more people to buy the paid mods, which I think is very scummy, especially for the average modder just getting thrown to the side, at least in my opinion. Again, this is all my opinion, so Todd Howard, do not cut my head off like poor old Rogvir. Also, while I think the UI is a little better than before, you'd think a Mafala damned 12 gigabyte update would actually have some quality of life improvements, like increasing the amount of space we can use to download mods. If you're a PC master race, you don't really have anything to worry about, but if you primarily play on Xbox like myself, I feel very left out, especially because with my load order, I am unable to download Falscar or Moonpath to elsewhere. And I still think the way mods are promoted is still pretty shit and hasn't changed a bit. I feel Bethesda only ever promotes the extremely popular mods that everyone loves, or some of the most trash mods that I don't think people are supposed to download in the first place. There, at least in my, from my eyes, has never been a middle ground which I feel really needs to get reworked. Something else that also really bothers me still is that I cannot remove Creation Club mods from my load order. The only way to remove them is to completely uninstall the game, which is completely ridiculous. I absolutely hate the Dawnfang Duskfang Sword as well as the Grey Cow Returns mod because they are quests that are just shoved down my throat and I never use any of the items and they become nothing but clutter in my quest log and that I just so desperately wish I could delete but I still cannot. Now I also want to talk about value as I think one of the biggest problems in the gaming industry is trying to decide what products are good value and what products have the worst value of all time. 
I believe that the Skyrim Anniversary Edition for 20 US dollars was extremely good value, especially because it included every single Creation Club mod wrapped up in a nice little package. Individually, the value was not good. I mean, $4 for a bow, $5 for a sword, $7 for a bunch of retextured crossbows? I'd rather join the Bard's College. It's also worth a lot less when you consider it's just used for cosmetic or role-playing purposes, because with smithing and enchanting, you can turn a fucking fork into a one-hit death machine. But again, $20 for all of the Creation Club mods was pretty good value, at least in my opinion. My biggest problem is that now we have pointless houses for $5, or hand cannons for $6 that are technically lore-friendly, but don't sound or feel lore-friendly, especially because of the atmosphere of Skyrim. I just don't see myself buying any of these mods unless the price is lowered significantly, or if all the mods are just put in one nice little package, or hey, maybe they will release another anniversary edition in four years and make everything reasonably cheap again. But yeah, that's all I wrote. I'm a little disappointed, but there is really nothing I can do about it. The only mod that seems worth it is the East Empire Company one, but I mean, I have free mods that do the same shit, so who knows. If this video gets at least 2,000 views, I might buy it, because that translates to about $10 for me, so at least I won't feel like I bought it. Instead, my fellow Telvani did instead. That will be my mental gymnastics. Anyways, don't worry, we're still gonna do this outro with all the intensity and vibrato I usually do, so... Here we go! So, with all that being said, make sure to like the like button, like the subscribe button, and like the bell notification down below to be updated on future videos. And I will see you whenever the fuck I decide to upload again. House Tell Valley be with you. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim, I shall be ever so grateful.